build it and they will come. But in Baldwin County, they're already here. Parents want a quality education and our teachers are delivering. As the new school year begins, work continues to accommodate the classrooms needed to fill the demand. I don't know if we'll ever get ahead of it. We're catching up uh, to a large degree. That catching up includes a new elementary school in Silver Hill. The land cleared, the foundation poured, expected to be ready this time next year. A new Spanish Fort Elementary School almost ready with room for 1,200 students, a gym and cafeteria, and there's still more to come. You got a, a, a career tech school coming, probably somewhere along there you're going to have a high school coming, a middle school, you're going to connect Stone Bridge to 59, I mean, it's not going to stop. Also on the drawing board, a new Loxley Elementary, Alberta Middle School, but in the meantime, portable classrooms are making a comeback on some campuses. An elementary school exploded in four years that we didn't see, so we're adding back to that and then we're determining what we need to do in the future. The explosion of school construction funded through the pay-as-you-go program using existing taxes and short-term loans and answer to the growth in Baldwin County that shows no signs of slowing down.